This is yours truly, Mr. Guru, taking you back to the future. I got my partner with me, super producer Solar, 5,000 degrees and burning dogs, repping that seven grand jazz the taz and everything that's hot. Checking out G4TV.com right here on Freestyle 101. Don't touch nothing that's going down. I'll let you do it. Yeah, like I said, Freestyle 101 and full of fit at yours truly, Big Guru. Represent for seven grand records. Big up to my partner, the super producer Solar in the building. Jazzmatazz 4 in stores. It's not a game, is it? Huh? Check it. Hey, yo, you dudes are merely dorks and derelicts. You swined out, you eating that pork, and you better quit. The front will set it quick. Got so much you never get. See that thing between your shoulders? You get it split. I live what I know. I learned and I gained. I left that old shit alone. I seen it burning in flames. I'm turning the pain into masterpieces for seven grand releases. It's our turn in the game. Hold your dome money. I'm shocking your system for the blocks in the prisons where it lock them in rhythms. So long and guru, blow a hole right through you in the blink of an eye. Say goodbye, that's what you do. And let me break it down nice and clear. Soon as you sleep, you will find your worst nightmare. I hit you right where you least expect. See, we gon' get at you quick and make you eat your threats. Straight up like that, huh? Doing this from New York to Cali to worldwide. Uh, seven grand, y'all. Uh, it's the movement. Uh, yeah. Big up to everybody out there messing around with their PSPs and their Playstations and their Wii's and all that. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> That's how we do. Uh, seven grand. Seven grand. Seven grand. Jazz and tech. Freestyle and watching cats, you know, in ciphers. And I was just really, really uh, awed by it. And uh, as things went on, you know, I knew I wanted to be an MC. So I just started going to open mics and wherever I could to spit. And I always had freestyles ready, or I was always able to come off the head. You know, there's different kind of freestyles. You can come off the head, or you could have something that, you know, that you piece together you know, to have ready, it's still a freestyle if nobody's heard it yet. Really, it's a testing ground for rhymes that are going to make it to a record or somebody's going to try to get a record deal with. So when you're in the cypher, that's where you're really testing out your new rhymes to see whether or not it's going to fly now, or sometimes come up with new rhymes for a future record. I know when I freestyle, if I hit something hot, I'm grabbing a pen and paper, tell Guru to grab a pen and paper, write that down before I forget it, you know what I mean? I think with freestyling, it's possible to get better, but it has to really be something that you can do. I think some people are just good at just writing, and other people have that knack for freestyle, which means you know being able to flish, switch the flows up according to the beats and, and different things like that, and being able to come with you know innovative uh, word wordplay off the head. You know that's definitely something that everybody doesn't have, but you can get better you know by applying yourself. Where it's at right now, where freestyle has become a ticket to record deals. You know, I've watched some of the more famous battles, some of them I've watched live, some of them I've watched on DVD. I'm, as a producer, I listen to things intricately. I feel like they're writing these rhymes and leaving blanks that will be filled in at the moment. Mm -hmm. So these punchline cats, to me, you know what I mean, I'm not trying to diss anybody, don't get it wrong, but <laughs> I'm a producer and I'm studying, you know what I mean? It does look like there's a lot of rhymes that were written and they leave blanks and then they just fill it in at that particular moment. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing too to me is that a lot of cats, they were very known for freestyling, don't necessarily make great songs. So I think it's you gotta be able to have a balance of all of those to be a real true MC. You gotta be able to freestyle, you gotta be able to write, you gotta be able to make good compositions, good songs. I mean, you had said something to me one day, you know, how when you was rolling with the jazz cats, how they, you know, mm -hmm. you know the comparisons to freestyling with improvisation of, of a jazz musician. That's exactly right, I mean, it, you know, it's very similar. A jazz player that's going to just, you know, improvise and just play what he's feeling at the time, his emotions and so forth, and, and, his, and his thoughts that express those musically is very similar to a rapper freestyling off the head. 
With the advent of Pro Tools, it's even that much more important for a rapper to have freestyle skills because that's like a certain authenticity. With Pro Tools being so advanced as it is, you can really take a dog barking and chop it up and make it sit to a beat, you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to naturally do it anymore, you know what I mean? So, you know, with that in mind, I think the freestyling has to stay a part of, uh, you know, main part of the art.